In this video, we're going to be creating a gobo in SketchUp for using your extensions like V-Ray, Podium, Twin Motion, or Inkscape. Trench Brady here from 3D Live Design. We talk 3D design for theater, meetings, events, and all things experiential. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. All links mentioned in this video will be listed in the description box below. If you stick to the end of this video, additional resources will be listed to help you create your own gobos. A gobo is a stencil or template placed inside or in front of a light source to control the shape of the emitted light. Lighting designers typically use them to manipulate the shape of light cast over a space or object, for example, to produce a pattern of leaves. It's a useful tool in creating an atmosphere on a limited budget. Stock metal gobos cost around $15, so you get a huge bang for the buck. The stock gobo I'll be creating is from GoboSource, one of the top resources for gobo and projection solutions. In this case, I'm going to the foliage breakups category, and I'll be selecting one of the blossom patterns. Click on the zoom image, then right click on it to save the enlarged image to your clipboard. Open the file in any photo editing program and create a new document from the clipboard. You'll notice that even though we copied the enlarged view, it's still not high enough resolution for what we need. We sample the image from 120 dpi to 600 dpi. When we zoom into one of the edges, you can see a number of grayscale pixels. We need to get rid of these to make it easier to create a clean trace of the gobo. Convert the image to a 1-bit black and white image. Use the LiDAR option to adjust the threshold slider to get the desired level of detail. Convert the image back to an RGB bitmap and save the file as a TIFF. Close your photo program. Open your vector-based drawing program like Illustrator or CorelDRAW. In this case, I'm using CorelDRAW. And then import the TIFF file. Outline trace the bitmap using the line art option. Since we've eliminated all the shades of gray in the bitmap, the tracing will only create black and white shapes. I've selected the group color option so that it will be easy to separate the white from the black shapes. Ungroup the tracing, move the remaining groups apart from each other, and delete the group of white shapes. This should leave you with a single black filled shape in the document. Save this as a DWG file and close the program. Open SketchUp and import the saved DWG file. Select and explode the shape. You could manually make all the faces of the object, but in this case I'll be using the Make a Face Pro SketchUp extension. Select the entire object, go to the Make a Face Pro extension, and after a couple of seconds, all 141 faces will be created. Now just delete the faces to create the openings in the gobo surface. Once you have all the openings deleted, fill the surface with black color on both sides, then make into a group. Bring one of your focusable light sources in from your rendering program and place it at the center of the gobo. Position the light above the gobo, aiming it towards it, and adjusting the light cone to create a beam of about 30 degrees. Get the cone of light to cover the center of the circle of the gobo without going beyond the edges. Then group the gobo and the light together. Open your rendering program and position the gobo light, creating a projected pattern across your set. You can reduce the size of the gobo light group without affecting the scale of the projected pattern. Adjust the light's brightness and color just as you would a standard light. All right, so that's a quick creation of a gobo you can use it with a rendering program in SketchUp. Here's a list of some additional resources for gobo inspirations. And here's a link to download four already created gobo source gobos for you to use. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video.